Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tomasz and in today's video we're going to talk about how to get your site status with WinHttp request. In today's video we're going to talk about one of two used by me HTTP requests, so win HTTP request. As always, let's go to the background story. I was asked to check if given links are still active. In case of few links, it would be easy um, or it would be easier to check it manually, but it appears that I need to check about thousands or, or more links stored in the Excel sheet. So, in that time I was wondering if there's uh, any possibility to do this automatically, as always, Uncle Google, and then I got to the win HTTP request. So, without further ado, let's go to the uh, worksheet prepared for this video. Um, here you go, uh, here you got a code which is using this WinHttp request. As you can see, this is the line with, which is creating the late binding for this. And let's summarize all of this. Um, in the file for, the, for this video purpose, I prepared three links. Mm, stored in the column A, so um, it is here, and this code is going to loop through all those links through the first, second, and third row in this case. And using the Win HTTP request, it will check the status of the site. Why the status? Because during the creation of this code and this tool for the request which I was asked, I realized that there are two codes which I'm interested in. There's a code 300 and code 200. Because other codes means that something is, let's call it wrong um, with this link. For example, there is a re redirection or the site is broken. And I'm only interested in links which are active in this example. I mean, when the site is fully loading or having a file to download. All the descriptions for those um, magical numbers you can uh, find uh, under the link in my article for this win HTTP request and and now we're going to step into the code to show you guys how is it working so let's go uh, first of all I'm counting the number of the uh, rows filled in the first column so it's free then I'm creating an array um, in the case of thousands of links, it's a um, faster approach, as I was mentioning in my all my videos. And then starting the loop with the first row. So I'm getting, I'm taking the, um, the first link and then setting the, creating, setting under the winHttp uh, variable object creating the win HTTP request. So let's go uh, further with the next line. Here, this is the line which is responsible for the links which are which needs a uh, certificate. And there is a pop-up window where you need to click manually, but we want this process to be automatic. So there goes this line which is responsible for avoiding this pop-up window. Then we're sending, um, we're opening this link and then sending the request. Sometimes, as I wrote here, there is there is no answer from server, so there goes an error. But in case of no error, we can get the site status using this property status of the object. 
So in our case, it's status 200. So yeah, all is good. And now uh, we can fill this cell with the green color to show that the link is active because it's having this status which we are interested in. Okay, let's go to the next link, which is that, creating an object when HTTP requests, getting the URL and sending the request. And in case of no errors, we're getting the site status. And as you can see, it is 301. So something is wrong. And in this case, the code is marking this um, link with the red color, set this object to nothing and the third so the last link once again creating the win HTTP request sending the request and getting the status and once again for the last link we are getting the 301 status so that is also the status which we are not interested in so marking this link with the red color and that was all in this code and now um, let's figure out what is wrong with those links so maybe let's check it manually to see if that code is telling the truth so let's check the first link our code told us that it's working so let's check it we can see that the URL is the same so there was no redirection and it is showing us the picture so everything is okay that's our code mark that link with the green color so it is good let's go to the second one where we got the code 301 okay let's go with the okay now we can be confused a little bit because as you can see the image is loaded looks like everything is okay but the code marked this link with the red color so something is wrong let's um let's check the url and you can see that url is just a little bit different than our URL stored in the Excel sheet because the, the difference is that S after the HTTP. So there was a redirection to the secure URL and that's why the status was 301 not 200 or 300. So the code the status which we are in we were interested in so there was a redirection and we were not interested in that so the code uh, did good and marked it with the red color and let's check the last link as you can see the picture is fully loaded so the same situation as in the with the second link but once again there is a s after the http so here also the redirection to the secured url so the win http method was correct one more thing for the end of this video in this code we used late binding so this was here creating the object but if you want to use uh, early binding you need to go to the tools and references and find the microsoft win http services version 5.1 check that and click ok now you will be able to create the early binding which can be faster so that was all for you guys thanks for watching and thanks for listening I hope this simple example will help you with the HTTP requests, for example to check if the link is active, still active or not, to check their uh, status. Um, I hope you enjoyed that, 
please leave a like and subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot i invite you to my website simplexlvba.com where i'm storing those all those articles for you guys and also uh, stay tuned for the next videos and see you there bye bye